Hey people, Infra Tier 3v3 Faction War, this is Catherine, Purification Plant and Ordomalius versus Space Marines for the Blue Ordomalius team. Sergeant Smith 501 is an Eversaur Assassin, a risk reward and melee brawler that explodes on death. Got an extra knife on his back just in case he wants to stab you even more. Alongside, Lunatic Red with a Demon Hunter, a melee spellcaster with strong support and control. And rounding off this team is Revs as a brother captain, a very durable hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful support and offense fighting in melee scouts backing away there. Up against for the Space Marines is Mammoth Mark II with a Force Commander. He's a versatile melee hero with strong offense and support. Alongside Tanelli with an Apothecary support hero fighting in melee by the foot begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura just letting these Marines go first there. And rather than off the teams, Endor with a Tech Marine starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. But they carry already healed those scouts as you can see. Rift Tear came in, which made it dangerous for those guys to back away, because they would have been slow, so they just retreated off. Looks like the Eversaw has been dragged into the mid by Endor. Demon Hunter's getting in there, Strike Squad are in there. Strike Squad have taken some hits already, probably because of Kraken Bolts, and here comes some more Kraken Bolts, yep. Yeah. From Mammoth Mark II. 20% more damage to heavy infantry. These guys have their tome energy burst on the apothecary and banishment on the scout didn't seem to do much. They've been dropped models here. They dropped one. Might drop another. Apothecary can get one more hit. Wasn't enough. I don't think he'll get another hit there. Nope. Strike squad chasing a tech marine all the way through the mid and he's off the field now. Mammoth leaving the east open for revs to bash power. I think it was worth dipping into the mid and shooting up that strike squad but maybe the force commander and the scouts could have stayed on the east side presented some kind of defense good special there for the brother captain in amongst the tactical marines with his power melee weapon force commander smacking around some stormtroopers scouts who's trying to stay alive the poor bastards they have i think it's 7.5 dps on their bolters they're Almost literally half the DPS of tactical marine bolters in those very first engagements without their shotguns and without their sergeant. I mean, they can maneuver around, they can frustrate melee squads and stuff, but they really don't put out much damage. Strike squad are going to be okay. Tactical marines keeping the brother captain busy. He's just turning the other ones now. Gets a special, needs to be careful. Backs away a bit and then retreats. It's going to be fine west side. Some dead stormtroopers. Tactical Marines be capping with their faster capping trait. Where's the Eversaw? There he is. No war gear. Doesn't have any XP either. More stormtroopers up for Sergeant Smith. Lunatic Red. And Revs going into Purgation or, or Interceptors. Looks like it's Revs with the Interceptors. Or maybe Operatives, I guess. Assault Squad on the field for Mammoth. So who can support their jump squad better out of the Brother Captain and the Force Commander? I think overall the Brother Captain, he can do so much. We are Hammer, Mind Blades, Bulwark, he can use Ward from the Staff, Battle Rites. Force Commander could do some really good stuff though with his Sacred Standard and Power Sword for the extra battle cry, also for the Emperor of course, but I think the Brother Captain can do more. Because he's also got Canticle of Absolution and the Terminator Librarian that can come in with Might of Titan and Kodokum Eternum. There's so much support you can throw onto a melee squad as the Ordo Malleus Eversaur Assassin pops the Psycon. Lots of swings on those Assault Marines. They haven't dropped a model yet and they are tearing up this Strat Squad. They think they're going to kill him. They can jump after them if they need to, they didn't even need to, down they go. Nicely done, those were Lunatic Red Strike Squad. Under attack. Cover holding. Tech Marine might fall as the Bionics, attack. so maybe we'll see the action in Tier 2, which is always fun to see. Force Commander can of course get his Thund Hammer up and just toss around those Interceptors, doesn't, mean, doesn't matter how many buffs they've got if they're on the floor. Interceptors all round it is in fact. Jump troops with power melee weapons with a teleporting troops, I guess. The Salt Marines jump in and knock you over. These guys teleport in. Kind of creepily stand there and shoot at you. If you're those fellas. Devastators on the field for Tenelli. Into Assault Marines. And we've got Assault Marines for Endor too. 
Assault Marines all round, Interceptors all round. 468 to 471 very early on, 2 to 1 for the blue Ordo Malleus team. Some quick tier twos. Sergeant Smith and Lunatic Red. Did you get Tomes of Titan? No Tomes of Titan. That was skipped by Sergeant Smith. We also did get that earlier tier two, I suppose. Sniper scouts for Endor having to retreat. Might might find it tough with all these interceptors on the field, but can they punish the interceptors for coming into melee? Bionics already up, as you've seen, could get the axe. Thunderhammer is of course possibility for this fella. The Apothecary can hurt you with that anointed power axe. And he's got the purification rights available perhaps. Sergeant up on the scouts there with a shotgun. Maybe shotguns all around. No, Tanelli doesn't have them. Meanwhile, west side, Demon Hunter chasing down those assault marines who are just terrorizing these stormtroopers right here. These tactical marines trying to get into melee. Here comes the Eversaw. Rhino on the way. Staggered jump from the assault marines and more assault marines coming in. Demon Hunter might go down here and they jump again. I think Tanelli's can jump again pretty soon. I don't know if they're going to be close enough though. Looks like not. Demon Hunter has got the Force Glaive. Not something you see all that often because his Force Rod is so good with that retribution. But we have 71.43 power melee and what is it called? Inferno. Just knocks stuff down around him and does some damage. There's a little delay when he uses it. It's a cool ability. And the power melee weapon is always nice. Same DPS as the Librarian's Force Staff on that thing. Interceptors with their Justicar now. Has that disruptive teleport when you have that filler up. Plasma Cannon on the way for Tanelli. Mammoth and Endor go tier 2. Gonna need some AV for the Rhino. That was a powerful sweep. How much damage does it do? 45. Not bad if it hits every model, eh? Scouts. Should be okay here. I thought maybe they were purchasing a sergeant and waiting to try and chuck a grenade. But no, they're just backing off. Power bashing from Sergeant Smith. He's got some plasma stormtroopers, as you'd expect, against heavily armored marines. Who's this down? It's the apothecary down in the mid. Was on the way to get the anointed power axe too. Speaking of power melee, there's that force glaive doing its thing. Force Guana thought about fighting him, but thinks again. Does have the thunder hammer on the way though. That should be a bit of a game changer on the east side and towards the mid. Can really mess up infantry with that thing. Rhino, did he get a full power bash? I don't know. They might have already been repurchased. I think they did. Acolytes up for the Stormtroopers, gives them the fanaticism, brief invulnerability thing. There's the overcharged plasma to suppress those guys. That was the fanaticism to avoid the damage of the plasma cannon. And the assault marines got messed up there. It's another shot. Hits the Rhino decently. There's that teleport though. That disruptive teleport. And they tore through those plasma cannon fellas. Devastators get a lesser version of the melee resistance or they get a 20% melee resistance rather than 40. So they are quite vulnerable to jump squads even if they did have full melee resistance obviously they'd be pretty hard countered by them. This Rhino is doing some great work for the blue team and there's another one from Revs going for the heavy bolter turret. This one doesn't have a weapon upgrade yet. Keeping it open to see if a Dreadnought appears, I suppose. Going for the Power Bash again. Devastator is setting up in the face. Or in the hull of the Rhino. These guys have committed pretty hard, haven't they? Going to take a lot of damage here. That's a Plasma Gun Tech Marine. And they did some good work against the Assault Marines. Under fire there. Really held their own. Taking sniper shots and everything. Did not see the axe with the tech marine then. Plasma gun is pretty hard to refuse. An amazing weapon against heavy infantry. That was an overcharged plasma. No, it wasn't. It was a psych out grenade. 
from the Interceptors. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter's not so keen to fight the Force Commander now that he has a Thunder Hammer. Not as much DPS as the Force Glaive, but you get amazing disruptive potential. 429 to 338. Sergeant Smith wants a quick tier 3, it seems, from the chat there. 50 power off. Here comes a Nemesis Force Halberd. Brother Captain's now got Mantle of Terror for battle rights. Also, that 20% ability cooldown reduction is pretty amazing. This is an amazing piece of armor. And Bulwark is up. West side. Plasma flying in on those tacks. Couldn't quite get the decap. Bulwark up on the interceptors there. Last 12 uh, seconds, I believe. But look how they're being disrupted. Crazy. Got to back him up, though, with some targeted damage when he's doing that. Because that big, impressive special was nerfed in terms of its damage output. It's still very good at disrupting stuff. Uh oh. I thought those assault rings were going to go down on retreat there. It's a big fight in the mid. There's the battle rights going off, that massive AoE heal over time that the brother captain can fire off. Caught the force commander there. And massive presence in the mid from the Auto Malleus. The double rhino is doing great. And very aggressive with his interceptors. Another jump those guys are done for. Done for. Lunatic Red though is down to only two units. Psych out to mess with the tech ring. Can they get him? Can they teleport again? I don't think they can. Do they have enough range damage to take him down? Doesn't seem like it. We have improved the medical equipment for the apothecary. And the anointed power axe is in. Almost level 2. Mammoth Mark 2 goes for a plasma cannon east side. Meanwhile, Rev's putting in some good work. Gonna bash this contested power that's been built up here. Some Marines do have the Melter, they probably all do. Nope. Tanalees do not have the Melter Bomb, Thunder and Lightning. The good Merciless. But just angered the Brother Captain there. Can't knock him over. Looks like Sergeant Smith wants a Land Raider. That's a, that feels like a pretty quick Land Raider. It's not that, it's not that he skipped Tier 2 as well. Scouts. Uh oh. Came to the wrong neighborhood to cap the VP. Only dropped one model though. Stuck around to get their shotgun blast off. Fanaticism, a little bit early to avoid their plasma cannon damage. We didn't hit them anyway. Eversaw's in there. Can maybe sprint after the plasma cannon now. Oh, some friendly fire. There's the overcharge from the Tech Marine. Crazy DPS. That's a decent hit. And the Eversword does get in there. Got a special, but they were already retreating off and just can't get onto that VP here. Endor. Land Raider Crusader on the way for Lunatic Red. Yes, that's before Mammoth even gets to Tier 3 and they've got a Land Raider on the way. Is that the end of this Rhino? It is. Melter on rear armor was enough after that plasma cannon hit. Now it's an upgraded Rhino too. They're doing some good work from the revs. They're down to three units now. Are oh, the Space Marines starting to slowly turn the corner here? Just got to stay solid and start getting their tier three rolling. They've got they've got VPs. They've got 300 VPs. Scouts need to get the natural VP back. There we go. West side still look very blue. Here we see the off map. Vindicare support from the Eversaw. One of his global abilities to reveal all enemy units on the map for a period of time. 10 seconds, maybe. Of course, Kwana needs to run. He's running. He's running. Level 3 Demon Hunter has the Tome of Tranquility. Very popular accessory for him. Well, Endor's on the VP. Not grabbing it with tactical marines, though. These guys are going for the wreck point and scouts on that wreck point. It can make a big difference if you control these two contested wrecks on the western edge. Predator tanks starting to roll. Something that the Ordo Malleus wish they had were Predator tanks. 
don't think the Vortima will be able to compete with Predators, especially if, if they have that last cannon upgrade. They're not really great at going up against enemy battle tanks. But if you keep them mobile, maybe they can just dip in, do some damage, be annoying, get out again. Crusader is coming to the west side. Plasma cannon getting some shots in. Two of them. It's a lot of shots. Interceptors are on them though. And they don't have the shotguns there to counter initiate. Those guys barely getting away. 13 hit points. These guys might have to run now. Now they don't. Do they still have a crack grenade? The interceptors? Does this give them a crack grenade when they get the side cannons? Maybe. Maybe. They're getting it. 30 power. I wonder if they can still... I don't think they can switch between them anymore, though. I forget. They used to be able to switch between the side cannons and their swords. That's when they were a tier 3 unit, though, I think. Oh, paladins are up for revs. Bad news for the red team. Unless Mammoth can get some Assault Terminators up with Claws and then it's a bad day for the Paladins. No sign of the Sacred Standard yet. Apothecary is going to get revived here. Doesn't quite level the Force Commander though. So these guys are being chased around, not sure what they're up to. Run away fellas. Paladins with their heavy melee Nemesis... Nemesis... Force Hammers, is that right? Nemesis Demon Hammers, that's it. Completely lost the name in my brain there for a second. Good play from the scouts of Tanelli getting a decap. But look at this Land Raider Crusader now sitting pretty on the west side with triple repairs going in. Battle cannons are not targeting the Land Raider. Maybe we'll see orbs of Dom the Sire. There's the other Land Raider Crusader. 385 to 249. Melter Bomb goes in, and then they retreat. They're putting some pressure on it, despite all those repairs. Really good hits. And now this thing has a last cannon, but it's taking conversion beam of shots here. They're still not targeting the Land Raider specifically. He doesn't want them to move, I think that's why. East side. Mammoth wishes they had their assault terminators here. Down goes the force commander though. Why do they melt my air saying this makes no sense? Probably because all the crazy buffs this brother captain has. He's probably putting bulwark up. He's got We Are the Hammer. He's got the battle rights. He's got Mind Blaze to go in. Storm Guard runs away. Interceptors teleporting in. And there's that off map Vindicare support again. Good grenade. It's a really good grenade in quick, quick reactions from Revs. Here's a Predator tank from Tanelli. Is this Terminators? Surely it is. Yep, yeah, the Salt Terminator is in. I imagine they're going to get their lightning claws as soon as he can. For the Emperor on them now. Sure what they're targeting here. There's an orbital. Doesn't seem to hit much. From Lunatic Red, maybe? Not sure. Hit the paladins a bit. Hit the strike squad a bit. There's a level 4 strike squad too. No sign of the lightning claws, you know. No sign of them yet. There's bulwark on the paladins. Lightning Claws are now on the way. Paladins have used their teleport, I think. Oh, wait. That guy didn't teleport. Did they? Oh, they got their energy back. Oh, they got given energy from Sergeant Smith. His strike squad, I suppose, did it? I don't think the... Um... Yeah, they did a weird split, says Revs. I don't think the Eversaw has... Sanctify, like the other fellas, or does he? I forget. Global's changed so much. Conversion Beamer. Might want to go a little bit further forward. They did get a tank though, look at that. Was it you with your exorcism thing? Nope. 
Armor, armor of Damnation is in. Rearming. We are losing a requisition. 385 to 148. Getting a little bit low on VPs there, Space Marines. But they've got their Assault Terminators up. And the claws are in. Revs needs to watch out. They basically counter Revs' entire army now. They could probably take everything on. I think they do pretty well. There you saw the um, Inferno. More off map Vindicare support. Oh, down goes the tank. Got two cursor conversion beamer. Although the conversion beam does more damage the further away you are, which is quite fun. Scout's dead. 385 to 121. Those were the guys that were. No, those were mammoth scouts. Sacred Standard is in now, too, for the constant damage buff. Here comes the Eversort. Euro Gauntlet is in for crazy DPS. We've got friends on and melter bombs, too. Where's that orbital? There it is. Really spread out. It's a weird nuke. A few decent hits though. 385 to 112. Interceptors have found some devastators and they really do mess them up, don't they? Really quick. Lightning Claw Terminator is looking for something to turn into power armored mints. East side, there's some stuff here. More, more Terminators, I guess. Enemy yep, from Endor now. Cyclone Missile Launcher could really help mess up the Land Raiders. Holy Grounds slows down enemies, speeds up allies. They just use it to escape the Lightning Claws. You can see Revs just doesn't want to fight those guys. Only has a single Plasma in this, uh, Inquisitor squad. Getting shots in now, though. There's ball work on the strike squad, which is strange to see. Thought we'd be caught on the paladins. Down goes the force commander. They got him. A little bit sloppy there from Mammoth. He is giving the crazy damage buff from the second standard now, though. For the Emperor is up on these assault terminators. They're chasing the interceptors, in turn being chased by the paladins. Not turning to fight them. Now a Marine's coming in. He killed one of the Terminators there. Revs actually handled this fight quite well. But look what happens when you turn and try and fight those Assault Terminators with Lightning Claws. There's Mind Blades up on the Paladins, giving them massive melee buffs. That was well handled there. Force one is back to his feet. West side, 385 to 78. Why is everything you have better than mine? It's those awesome. <laughs> you are heretics. Is the awesome uh, brother captain buffs? He's a nutbag, that guy. 385 to 67. Sometimes I feel like the Order Malleus heroes are somewhat over designed. The, the fact that almost every war gear they have gives them some kind of active ability. I mean, maybe that's the maybe that's the theme of the of Order Malleus. They have tons of abilities to juggle, tons of energy to manage. But you make a battle right, uh, mantle of terror gives health, energy, energy regen, cooldown reduction, and battle rights. I mean, you compare that to Artificer, it just makes the Force Commander tougher. And there are some other armors like that in. Original Dawn of War, they just like make they just boost your stats a bit. It's like every single armor in the Order Malleus roster gives you some kind of ability and seems to do a bunch of stuff. 385 to 39. Oh, this Sergeant Smith gets a sound bug, but looks like they've won, as he said. Just been very solid with these land raiders, and they really sped through the text, didn't they? Especially Sergeant Smith. Didn't upgrade the strat squad or the Stormtroopers and didn't get any war gear on the Eversaur until tier 3. 385 to 25. I thought the Terminators were going to make a big difference on the east side, but they've kind of been dealt with here. 
kill the two to one. Looks like they've got it. Okay, Tempest. Uh oh, some friendly fire from the plasma cannons there. Yeah, Tempest seems a little bit weak now. When it was first in the game, it was insanely strong. It's been nerfed and changed a few times. It's like I can't tell what most of the phases even do. It slows you down, and at some point it does a little bit of damage, but it's like so little damage. I guess if it can affect like multiple armies, it's pretty damn good. Well, there you have it. Let's look at these heroes. Level 4 Eversaw Assassin. Level 8 Demon Hunter. Level 6 Brother Captain. Level 5 Force Commander. I thought it'd be way scarier. Revs really handled it well on the east side. Level 3 Apothecary in the air. And a level 3 Tech Marine. Did you get Bionics? Nope. Uh, sorry. Did you get Signum? No, you still have Bionics. Well, they have it. Big thanks to these players for taking part. Big thanks to Impregnable for hosting the event. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.